level 9 upgrade. For this upgrade, I'm going to be installing the Traxxas Sway Bar Kit for the Slash 4x4, Rally, and Stampede 4x4. Of course, this was donated to me by Coyote0976. Thanks again, man. Let's go ahead and cut this open and check it out. Alright, just cut it open and let's start pulling things out. We got some screws. We got some adjustable arms. We have the rear set. I'm assuming the front ones were the first ones I pulled out. And then we actually have the sway bars themselves. They come in two different strengths. I guess you can say weak and then strong. I think the black one's the stronger one. Oh yeah, the black one's definitely the stronger one. So let's go ahead and check out the instructions and see what this is all about. And there you have it. Instructions are rather easy to follow. I have all the parts laid out. I need to go ahead and put them together just like this. As you can tell, the shorter arms go on the front sway bar and the longer arms go on the rear sway bar. I'm also going to be using the silver ones for now. If they don't work out, I'm going to go ahead and test out the black ones. One small difference that I'm going to be doing is that instead of using the screws they included with this kit, I'm going to be using stainless steel screws with washers on them. So let's go ahead and put them together just like this. So in order for me to connect the arm onto the sway bar, all I have to do is slide the silver part on first and then tighten the little grub screw on the side. Now it doesn't really matter which way you well, connect it for the front ones because the front sway bar is completely level. But for the rear one, it needs to be angled down just like that. So now that I have my sway bars assembled, it's time to attach it to the RC. And I'm going to go ahead and start with the rear. Now a quick note before I do this. If you're going to be putting these onto your Stampede 4x4, what you're going to want to do is pop this piece out and put one of these hollow balls in there. The reason for that is that there is a shock guard on the front of the A-arm and where these get connected to the A-arm, a screw is going to have to go through to hold the shock guard on. But since I don't have shock guards on this RC, I don't have to worry about it. So what I'm going to do is get each one of these arms and move it on each side of the shock tower and they're going to be attached to the very top hole on the A-arm. Now for the top of the sway bar, you can see there's a little groove for it right there. It gets held down with two screws. And the rear sway bar has been installed. Rather simple installation. If you're going to be doing this yourself, I highly suggest that you connect this part before you put in these two screws. So now it's on to the front. Now the front is identical. As you can see, there is a groove for the top of the sway bar right here. But it also connects, once again, to the topmost hole of the A-arm. So here's before, and here is after. As you saw, it's a rather simple installation, and the only thing you have to be concerned about is when you take off the front assembly, you are going to have to remove these two screws because it is holding the front assembly to the chassis. Now you might be wondering why in the world would you want to go ahead and install these on your Slash 4x4 Stampede or Rally. Well, these can prevent body roll, and on top of that, you can adjust them to reduce understeer or oversteer. So when it comes to performance and racing, or even just if you're really in the mood for like high class bashing, these are one of those things that you should consider. Thanks again, Kayo, for the awesome donation, but this upgrade is done. And that was Coyote's level nine upgrade.